Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to share RSS feed to Discord channel automatically. Let's suppose you are running an e-magazine or a news channel for which you want to track a particular website and you want to share the feeds generated on that website to your community on Discord. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to integrate both these applications and that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. Now here we have RSS by Pabli through which we are going to connect any RSS website with Pabli Connect and then we have Discord in our action. So we are going to connect both of them by using Pabli Connect in order to automate this entire process. And to learn this entire automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn that how can we automatically share RSS feeds on Discord channel. Now let's suppose you are running an e-magazine, a website or any other news channel and you regularly update RSS feeds on that same channel. And at the same time, you also have a community on your Discord channel related to the feed. And now you want to share latest RSS feeds to your Discord community with your team members so that they can check out and then further post it on your website. Okay, so we are going to create an automation for this entire process which will enable us to automatically share RSS feeds on our Discord channel. In order to create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect which is an amazing automation and integration software. By using Pabli Connect, we can integrate multiple applications without any coding or programming skills and we can automate our task. Okay, so in this, okay, so this is the homepage of Pabli Connect where we can reach directly by typing pabli.com slash connect this URL in our browser. Once we will reach here, we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account. Also, when you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now, as an existing user, I'm directly clicking on sign in. This is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now on this dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also create folders here to save the workflow. As you can find, I have two folders here. In this test integrations folder, I have saved a lot of workflows. In the same manner, by creating multiple folders, you can save your workflows accordingly on the dashboard. Okay, now to create a new workflow, we will click on this create workflow option. So let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear in front of us. It is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let us provide a name over here. Share RSS feeds to Discord. Okay, after giving the name, we can also select the folder in which we want to save this workflow. So here from the drop down, I'm going to select this test integrations folder. And now let's click on create. As we do that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us, trigger and action. What are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts or the two main principles on which the entire automation runs. Here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. Whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. Okay, let's suppose we are going to take RSS by Pabli in our trigger and this card in our action and we want that as soon as the response will be captured for a new RSS feed automatically the same feed should be shared on our discord channel okay here we can find that our action is the response towards our trigger because when the trigger happens that means when the response of RSS feed is captured here then only the message is sent on discord otherwise not okay now after understanding this concept let's start creating this workflow step by step first of all we will select our trigger application and in order to fetch out the details of RSS feed here I am going to use RSS by Pabli. So with the help of this feature, you can connect the RSS feed of any website. Okay. Now here we are going to select the trigger event as new item in feed. And now whenever a new item will be created in RSS feed, automatically the response will be captured here in Pabli Connect. So let's click on connect. And after building the connection here, it is asking us to enter the feed URL. Okay, from which website you want to get the response of RSS feed. So you can add the URL of any RSS website over here. I am going to open this NDTV RSS feeds website. And here we have variety of feeds available from different sections. So I want to open this sports feed. And I'm going to simply copy the URL of this feed and paste it here in this feed. Okay. Now, whenever a new post will be created in this particular feed, the response will be automatically captured here in Pabli Connect. Okay. And here, this is the sports community which I am running on Discord. So, I want to share all the feeds here in this particular channel. Okay. So, let's click on Save and Send Test Request button. And here in the response, we have received the latest feed from NDTV sports feed. Okay. Okay. So, we will come back towards Pabli. And now, what we want, we want to share this response towards Discord. Basically, I want to share the RSS feed on my Discord community. Okay. So, now for that, we are going to connect Discord with Pabli Connect. So, let's move further. And here in our action application, we are going to select Discord. Let's select it. 
and now we will select our action event so the action event will be send channel message html we will click on connect now after building the connection it is asking us the following things for first of all it is asking us the webbook url now from where we are going to find this webbook url you can click on this hyperlink in order to get the details and i am also going to tell you exactly what you are supposed to do so first of all i am going to take you towards my discord account and this is the sports community which i am running okay this is the channel in order to show you i am going to create a new channel over here we will click on this plus sign to create a new channel and here i'm going to give a name to this channel let's say news channel okay let's say news channel is the name of my community and now we are going to click on this create channel button and we have created the channel successfully so after creating the channel here we need to go towards server settings and here from the left side we can find the option of integrations let's select it and here we can find the option of webbook so we will click on view webbooks and here are multiple webbooks already created for different purposes so we are going to add a new webbook over here we will click on this new webbook button and here we can find that recently a new webbook is added with the name as captain hook so so we will click on this webbook and here the name is given so we can even change the name of the webbooks let's say here i'm going to change the name as news channel okay and now we are going to copy the webbook url which is given okay one more thing which we have to do is we have to select the channel setting over here so in front of webbook name the channel is given as general because we have recently created a new channel with a name as news channel so we will have to select that over here okay now we will click on save changes okay done let's go back towards fably connect and we will simply paste the webbook url which we have copied and we will move further the next it is asking us is the message what message you want to send on your discord channel here our motive is to send the rss feed towards discord channel so what i am going to do i am simply going to enter a message as hello i am sharing a new sports related rss feed please check this out and now here i am going to enter the url of the feed which we have already received from our earlier response so we have already captured the response of rss feed we will simply map that same data over here now what is mapping mapping is inserting data from previous step here our previous step is given and here are all the details we can find that the content url is given over here let's select it and it will be mapped automatically now when we have mapped this url it has become dynamic and now it is going to change with each and every response so now whenever a new response will be captured from rss by pabli that means whenever a new rss feed will be captured in pabli connect automatically in this field the url is going to replace with a new url of a new feed but whatever data we have manually entered let's say here we have entered this sentence manually hello i am sharing a new sports related rss feed so it has become static and it is not going to change with each and every response therefore wherever in the workflow we want the data should get changed automatically there we map it by using previous step and when we want the data should remain same with each and every response there we type it manually and that is called as static mapping after entering the message let's move further and here we need to provide the name of the bot basically here we are setting up a bot for sending automated message in discord channel okay so the, so the bot is going to send the message from our side okay so we need to provide a name to our bot through what name we want to send the message on our discord community so here i'm going to give the name as let's say sports news okay this will be the name of my bot the next is the bot icon if you want you can also attach an image along with this name to provide the icon to your bot okay so here you can provide the url of the icon which you want to provide to your bot okay let's click on save and send test request button and here we can find that we have received the response so let's go and check on our discord channel and here we can find that we have received the message over here and the bot name is sports news and here is the same message which we have entered in public connect along with the link okay let us click on this link and it has redirected us towards the so this means that our workflow is perfectly successful and we have successfully built an integration between rss by pabli and discord and now whenever a new feed will be captured from rss by pabli automatically the same feed will be shared on our discord channel also in the same manner by following the same steps you can very easily create this automation and this will help you to automatically share rss feeds on your discord channel without any manual efforts so this was it in this video i hope this was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but you can integrate many other applications by using pabli connect now if you have any doubt you can directly reach out to us at support@pabli.com if you want to ask any query you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com and if you want to ask any pricing related issue then you can directly reach out to the website given over here now if you find this video helpful in any way do not forget it to share it with your friends and also please like our videos and subscribe our channel to learn more such automations